But in politics, it was all about the areas outside of the Twin Cities as candidates weigh in on the issues they hope will weigh undecided voters. Tonight was the first time that all three major party candidates were in the same room. Governor Mark Dayton, Republican challenger Jeff Johnson, and independent candidate Hannah Nicollet met in Rochester for the state's first gubernatorial debate. ABC6 News reporter John Deckott was there and has full coverage in our top story. It wasn't quite a full house Wednesday, but with many ardent supporters in attendance, the crowd was eager to hear from their candidates. After news broke Wednesday that Mincher rates would be increasing, the controversial Obamacare program once again became a hot button issue, with each candidate offering their own take. Governor, you desperately wanted to be the first state in the country to implement Obamacare in Minnesota in the form of Mincher, and you got everything you wanted, and it's been an unmitigated disaster. We have the second lowest uh, percent of people uninsured of any state in the nation, and Hundreds of thousands of people have had access to health care that they didn't have before. The whole rollout went out poorly, so we'll probably have to we'll probably have to fix it um, as long as there is a federal mandate that requires that we have uh, federal health insurance. Mayo Clinic's DMC project also came to the forefront Wednesday, with each candidate saying they are in favor of the project, but that doesn't mean they see eye to eye. And this is one of the areas where there is principal disagreement. I believe there is a role for government to provide incentives and then to partner with uh, the private sector in order to make these projects uh, happen. I would have had a difference of opinion on the definition of infrastructure. I've been very clear on that with respect to this bill. Had I been a, legislature, a legislator and not able to change it, I likely wouldn't have supported it. But of course, the debate all came down to the economy, with Dayton touting job growth, while Johnson said the tax system needs to be changed to create a more business-friendly environment. You are going to see me working hard to reform our taxes. I have a, a, a strong belief that the tax system should be low, broad, and simple, and almost any economist will tell you that that's what you need to do. We have spending under control. We have made new investments in education, higher education, in early childhood, in all-day kindergarten. And we have a, a strong, robust employment growth, 160,000 new jobs on which to build further. In Rochester, John Detcott, ABC6 News.